New tonight, a U.S. Marine veteran and Border Patrol agent's life claimed by the coronavirus. Marco Gonzalez was hospitalized for almost a month and transferred from Del Rio to San Antonio. The night team's Tiffany Huertas spoke with his family, who says he was proud to serve his country and loved his family to the core. He did everything for us to be happy at all times. Family always came first for 49-year-old Marco Gonzalez. A great man gone too soon that, that would do anything for his kids, anything for his grandkids, and anything for his community and in general. Yeah, and he's going to be missed by a lot of people. Marco's family says he began feeling sick in June. He started having migraines. It was to the point where he was real weak. On July 8th, he went to the hospital in Del Rio, and the next day was transferred to Krista Santa Rosa Hospital West Over Hills. His family said he tested positive for COVID-19. Marco was placed on a ventilator and passed away on August 5th. He leaves behind his wife and three daughters. Very strong. He's the one that would keep us all strong. His family says Marco loved his country. He would do anything for his country, whether it was the Marines, whether it was Border Patrol, just his country safe. A procession was held for the Border Patrol agent yesterday from San Antonio to Del Rio. Passing through the uh, Border Patrol station from Yavalde to Brackettville. Um, beautiful. They had the, the Border Patrols lined up and they were all saluting, saying, um, their goodbyes. His daughters holding on to every memory they have made with their dad. I'll miss him and we'll never forget him and that he's always in our hearts. And everything that I do from now on is for him to make him proud. Marco was a Border Patrol agent for about 15 years. He will be buried next week in Del Rio. Tiffany Huertas, KSAT 12 News.